Before I started studying education, I never really thought about the purpose of my public schooling. In retrospect, my school, or at least some of my teachers, valued some of the social and political goals of schooling we have talked about in this course. The teachers who led my English, government, and world history classes during high school all included these goals in their instruction. They taught civics, political science, and encouraged us to participate in our local community and eventually in American and international society. In my school's overall culture, there was also a focus on preparing students for college. This goal became especially important for American schools during the years of my education. The No Child Left Behind Act introduced a large focus on testing meant to prepare students for the workforce. As described in our spring textbook, the Common Core Standards themselves focus on reading and writing for the workplace, at the expense of fiction reading and expressive writing. In my years as a student, government-mandated testing slowly became more and more important in American education. That said, testing never seemed like a huge deal to my schools or my teachers, especially before high school. Even then, actually passing the state Ames test was rarely an issue, though some of my friends worried about getting an excelling grade in order to get scholarships at in-state universities. As a current music educator, I'm concerned about how state and national standards are applied in my subject area. School administrators, from my observations, rarely actually care about making national or state music standards, for better or for worse. I hope that in my lifetime, appropriate music standards can be used to improve music instruction and show the value of arts in our society, without interfering with good teaching, as they have in other subject areas.